you guys, I have had a lot to say about accountability lately and how important it is and how far it can The thing is, Brooke, yes, you have been saying a lot of things lately. And the problem is, is you are not saying the right things. It's a whole lot of hot air coming out of that mouth. I, I you know, I every every time I try to come around to try to be a little, oh, okay, I, you, I keep trying to warm up to you because I'm a huge Tana fan and by no means is Tana uh, uh, scot-free of wrongdoing that uh, Tana has had her cancellations to say the least but there's still something that is very genuine and very real about Tana and I think that deep down Brooke there is some goodness in you I think there is some goodness in Brooke she's not an awful human being but there is a level of phony fakeness that you refuse to let go of these tweets, these racist tweets, these weird things have surfaced up before and they've been circling around for a really long time. And it's been bubbling up for the last few months. You knew, you said just in this video, you knew that it was going to come around and come out and you tried to ignore it. But, but even in, in knowing this, instead of just getting ahead of it and acknowledging like, hey, I said that, it ain't even nothing that I can say. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to go, I am so sorry. That was ignorant and that's just what it is. No explanation, no carrying on, none, none, of, none, of, none of this. But my thing is, because I, I also understand wanting to not fan the flame. I understand not wanting you to bring it to more light and give more attention to it and seeing, hoping and praying and, and, and thinking and hoping and wishing and wishing and praying that it would go away. I understand all of that. But you got cute. You got cute. You got to smelling yourself and you thought it's gone under the rug. It's died down. Why on earth? Would you be coming so hard after the people you've been coming for on your podcast? You've been sitting up here talking about, I have one of the best podcasts. And why would you come after me knowing I have a podcast? You sat up here and went after your ex. Made a whole 40-part series, 20, 30-part series of, on TikTok coming for him. Which, psychopath. You know, let's just call it what it is. He was dead wrong for how he did you. Fine. You went after Alyssa Violet. You went, at, you went, you go after all these people, all these people, putting these people on blast on Clint. Uh, uh, Clint I want to try and say that man's name. I'm going to speak that man's name. But you, you went through so many episodes with your chest out talking about these people, knowing good and damn well that you had these tweets sitting on the back burner you're going after influencers celebrities musicians comedians you're going after these top people and you didn't think that anybody any given time was going to dig up some stuff on you in an election year after to, after 2020 the va people's favorite pastime to do is to dig up homophobic and racist tweets now, did you, I don't know if you said anything homophobic, but you certainly said some racist stuff. And you said, I'm talking about, well, I was 17 and I grew up with a racist grandfather. I get all that. Of course, racism is learned. But you should have also learned in your adult years, excuse me, for, for spraying it. You also should have learned that people are going to dig up some stuff. Have you learned nothing after all these years of being an influencer? Riding the coattails of Tana. Look, you made a nice career for yourself. I ain't gonna say all of that, but let's 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 keep it real. Let's keep it let's keep it all the way one hundred. Why would you think that you could sit up here and go on this podcast and, and come on this here internet, come on this TikTok and, and and come after all these people and think well nobody gonna come after you? Girl, are you dumb? And Tana, I know what game you're playing. Keep your enemies closer, because then ain't no what. You keep saying, oh, Brooke is my best friend, and this and that. Girl, you need to distance yourself from this girl and run. You trying to play the game of keeping your enemies closer, you, you, Tana, you're going to mess around and let this girl drag you down. She's not mature enough to deal with the world 
of of being an influencer, being an into, being a part. Brooke is not playing the same game as you, Tana. And I'm gonna be paying close attention. To see how you how how are you gonna handle this situation? Are you gonna to try to help help your help, Tana? Are you gonna to try to help Brooke, Brooke backpedal? Because no, ma'am. Because no, ma'am. I'm gonna be watching closely, but Brooke, you know, look. I'm gonna tell you like this because I, I don't I don't believe in bullying. I don't like to come on here and bash people. But let me tell you like this, little girl. <laughs> I hate to say it, but the best thing I can say is check yourself before you wreck yourself. For real. Don't let this L.A. Hollywood stuff get to your head. You got out here and you got and you got cute when you knew you was real ugly back in the day for whatever what reason. And knowing that you had this off your head, you got cocky and thought, well, what nobody gonna dig this up? And then you come over here and make this half baked apology. Why are you? Why are you crying? Cause you got caught. You talked about all these people doing this and that. I don't. I don't care that you were 17, 18, 19, 20. That was old enough. That was old enough. And if you really, really learned, if you really changed, if you really evolved, you would have got ahead of this before you got put on blast. You would have got ahead of this before you try to come for other people's careers and tear them down, whether they deserved it or not. If you know you got skeletons in your closet, then baby, what the hell are you doing? You don't know how to play the game. So stop playing, because you're about to find out. I hope it works out for you. It's, it's, it's giving sneaky. It's giving your luck is about to run out. I hope you figure it out. I don't, I don't wish ill will on nobody, but don't, dry, don't burn the house down with everybody else in it. So I, I, this little... Apology is not it's not gonna cut it for me. Antenna and friend group. Oh baby, I'm watching. So come correct.